The recipe for dog food isn't just a random mix of meat and grains. It's a carefully crafted formula that differs significantly from what you'd find in cat food. Why? Because dogs and cats have completely different nutritional needs. While both may consume similar base ingredients, the proportions of protein, fat, and carbohydrates are adjusted with precision to match a dog's digestive system and energy requirements. The journey of dog food begins with ingredient selection and it's much more thoughtful than you might expect. Farmers and suppliers source high quality meats like chicken, beef, and lamb to serve as the main protein base. These meats aren't just chosen for their taste, but also for the nutrients they offer, vital for a dog's muscle development and overall health. Alongside the meat, various grains like barley, rice, oats, and wheat are added. Uh, these grains are not mere fillers. They provide essential fiber, minerals, and slow-burning carbohydrates. And then there's corn. Often debated but widely used, corn kernels are an excellent source of quick energy and are ground down to be more digestible for dogs. It's a versatile ingredient that, when processed properly, supports a dog's active lifestyle. Once all the ingredients are gathered, the preparation begins. First, the ingredients are checked and tested for quality to ensure they meet strict safety and nutritional standards. Only the best make the cut. Each item is carefully ground and weighed to ensure the right balance of nutrients. Precision is key. Every measurement affects the final product's texture, flavor, and nutritional content. The ingredients are then sent into a massive industrial mixer. Think of it as a giant kitchen blender, but for pet food, designed to handle hundreds of kilos of material at once. Inside this industrial mixer, science meets craftsmanship. Rotating blades begin the process by shredding the meat into large chunks. These pieces are then directed downward by an internal auger, which simultaneously continues to break them apart, feeding them into a holding bin below. At this stage, the meat is coarsely ground into chunks, roughly two by one inches in size. The next phase is fine grinding. The coarse meat pieces travel via conveyor to a secondary grinder, where they are processed for around 10 minutes. Inside this grinder, another auger pushes the meat forward as it's further reduced this time to pieces just one quarter inch in size. The result is a soft, pliable meat paste, now ready for blending with the other ingredients in the recipe. Fresh proteins follow a similar route with a few key distinctions. Unlike frozen meat, their naturally softer texture allows them to be ground in just one pass through the grinder, making the process quicker, cleaner, and more efficient. As the meat is being processed, the vegetables get their turn. Frozen bags of diced carrots, corn, and leafy greens are opened and placed onto a conveyor belt. From there, the vegetables move into a crusher that breaks apart any frozen clumps, fluffing them for easier handling. An auger screw then pushes them forward as they are gently steamed until tender. Once cooked, the vegetables are visually inspected for any spoilage or irregularities before being transferred into a large stainless steel mixing tank. Here, powerful paddles stir the mixture as it's heated. Leafy greens like spinach and peas are added at this stage to boost both nutrition and color. The result is a thick, elastic vegetable mash. Softer than mashed potatoes, yet more flexible in texture. It's the perfect complement to the finely ground meat paste prepared earlier, forming the hearty foundation of the final product. Next comes measuring and mixing. Every ingredient is precisely weighed according to a preset formula, ensuring each batch meets strict nutritional standards. Inside a large capacity industrial mixer, ground meat, organ cuts, vegetables and, vegetables and grains are blended using powerful paddles to ensure even distribution. At this stage, dry grain powders like milled rice, wheat, oats, and barley are also added for structure and carbohydrates. The typical recipe, 70% lean muscle, meat, 10% bone, 10% nutrient-rich organ meats, 10% vegetables and whole grains. To manage heat from high-speed mixing, ice chips are added. This keeps the blend cool and preserves the integrity of fresh ingredients. In about 30 minutes, the process yields a thick, velvety, nutrient-rich paste, affectionately nicknamed meat ice cream by factory workers. Next comes the extrusion process, the stage where dry dog food finally takes shape. The blended meat mixture enters the extrusion chamber, where it combines with preheated dry ingredients from an overhead hopper. A rotating screw drives the mix forward, while steam raises the internal temperature to about 194 degrees Fahrenheit, just hot enough to expand and mold the kibble without overcooking it. 
As the mixture is forced through small nozzles, the sudden drop in pressure causes it to puff up. This puffing action gives dry kibble its signature light yet firm texture. By changing the die plate, manufacturers can easily switch up the kibble's shape, creating pellets, discs, bones, or even meat-like ribbons. In this particular batch, the extruder produces long ribbons of food, which are sent through a steam tunnel. A pressurized oven that reaches temperatures as high as 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, the ribbons are thoroughly cooked, both inside and out. Once steamed, the ribbons enter a drying tunnel, where hot air removes excess moisture and transforms the soft strands into dry, crunchy kibble. Finally, rotary blades cut the dried ribbons into evenly sized pieces. The kibble moves to a rotating drum, where it's sprayed with a fine mist of fats and flavorings. Tumbling ensures every piece is evenly coated, not just on the surface, but deep within. The fats add energy, and the flavorings make the food more appealing to dogs. Next comes the final drying phase. In a hot air chamber, the kibble is dried at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. This gentle process locks in structure and flavor without degrading nutrients. Moisture levels are finely tuned, around 5.5 to 6% for cats, about 9% for dogs, Throughout production, quality control is continuous. Every 15 minutes, product samples are tested for texture, size, uniformity, and moisture. One key metric, water activity, which determines shelf life and spoilage resistance. After passing inspection, the kibble is cooled gradually to preserve crunch, aroma, and freshness, ready for packaging. The factory operates 24 seven with a goal of producing up to 1 million bags of pet food daily. Packaging options vary from small pouches to 44 pound bulk bags. The system handles everything from plastic buckets and printed films to novelty packs with toy inserts.